Okay, now for the fun part. I'm going to spread this goo over both of my legs, lower, just the lower leg below the knee. So here we go. It's easy. It's actually just like uh, spreading icing on a cake, right? I'm using my coffee stir stick again. I find that to be easier. Now, I have both actinic keratosis and DSAP. DSAP is disseminated superficial actinic porokeratosis. And you can see that the lesions on my leg are pretty red, and that's pretty much the normal way they look. I'm only on day two of the spreading of this, or putting on of this treatment, so it hasn't really started getting red from the treatment yet. But there's quite a bit of either DSAP or actinic keratosis all over. I've had the DSAP for uh, 30, 40 years, something like that. Um, it is somewhat genetic and I am a redhead with fair skin. All those wonderful things with skin cancer. Um, anyway, there is no known treatment for the DSAP. However, um, this treatment may be doing something. I'm not sure yet. Um, actinic keratosis sometimes develops into skin cancer. DSAP is not really known to do so, anywhere, at least anywhere near as much. So we normally do treatment for the actinic keratosis, but the problem is you can't tell the difference. They really look alike other than by biopsy. So I've gone through many biopsies, lots of field treatments with various creams. I think I've tried just about everything and just hoping that I can keep it under control. Um, that's the reason for this treatment. The idea is if I don't know what's DSAP and I don't know what's actinic keratosis, if I can at least knock it down so that I don't have to have a lot of more biopsies. That would be kind of nice. Anyway, this is probably very boring. <laughs> the treatment, I did a treatment with my arm last year, and I was very pleased. It's now looking better than it had previously, and I think that some of the DSAP was also knocked back, not just the actinic keratosis, and that would be really nice. So I'm hopeful. I think I'll uh, just, I have more to go here, but I won't do it all. After you finish this, you're supposed to rub it in. Now, you can see this isn't going to really rub in. It's going to smear around. It's not really absorbing very well. But I usually go through and make sure it's spread evenly and rub it a little bit anyway, just to make sure it gets in as best as it can. It's very messy. It's sticky. And since there's a morning and an evening application, I recommend wearing shorts or rolled up pants for at least an hour after applying, all day if possible. And then I also do the night application early, way before I go to bed, not right before I go to bed, so that it absorbs some and doesn't get all over the bed as much. We'll see how this goes.